doubles and coffee appear in woman in the comments on one of my videos after murders and mayhem and home invasion said you sound so hateful and I took time to think to think carefully about how I feel about Keith Christopher Rowley and the PNM and what they have done to this country. Now keep in mind, I don't just talk that I love my country and all of that. I've represented my country, swimming, football, and as a coach for over 35 years. I had opportunities to coach all over the world and I chose to stay in my country because I love my country. Let me put it to you this way. If you have a child, an eight-year-old child, daughter, and you send her to school and a teacher, principal in charge, is raping her every day, hurting her and abusing her. How would you feel about that principle? If you send your daughter to school every day and that same principle would go in her bag, in her wallet and take her money, steal it every day. How would you feel about that principle? And if your daughter went to school every day and that principal was doing the same things to her friends in her class and other classes, how would you feel about that principal? And if that principal was also arrogant, belligerent, disrespectful, cheating, Deciding who could pass classes not based on merit, who could get grades A and B, and who fails because that principle chose just on their own volition, not on any sort of merit, to operate in that way and treat all those children in the school and the school as his own plaything to do with as he pleases. And he brought your child and all the other children into a living nightmare every single day. How would you feel about that principle? That is what Keith Rowley is doing to this country every day. Every single day, our beloved country is being raped by the PNM. The economy is decimated. The PNM and the cabinet are recusing themselves over and over in your face. There's no corporate governance, no procurement, corruption at every level. Keith Rowley's friends are the biggest miscreants on God green earth on criminal charges. People are dying and being raped, my lady. People's children are dying. For the year already, 335 murders, mostly young black people who have not had a chance to live yet in this beloved, beautiful country. Nobody feels safe. People are spending money on their houses, mortgages, and others are just running up in their houses, beating them, raping them, and killing them. Our country is bleeding. Nothing is working in our country. You as a PNM may think that's okay because PNM in charge. Our country is on the list of highest, most murderous countries on God green earth. Foreigners are warned to not come to our country that we love. How do you feel about somebody who's supposed to lead, somebody who's supposed to guide, some of our bodies who are supposed to inspire, somebody who is supposed to unite when their, their policies are discriminatory. Look, I hear rain falling on the roof. Do you know that people are now going to suffer? Do you know as I do this, people are suffering in Barapo from just rainfall? After some of the driest months in the year, 
because the PNM did not do their job, did not allocate resources, did not dredge river mouths, did not clear drains, did not build and invest in box drains and so on. People are suffering and losing everything because of rainfall, not storm. So when you ask me if I sound hateful, I sound totally disappointed that the people would elect such an idiot to office who will decimate our beloved country. Keith Rowley does not care. He's not trying to care. He does not care that people are dying in the hospital. 21 babies died because of incompetence, because they could not sanitize and nick you. And you find that's okay. That's run of the mill. What about if it's your baby? What about if it's your grandchild? Uh, you need to feel it for yourself. To feel the pain? Well, my mother brought me up differently. God willing and knock on wood, I have not felt that pain close to my family. But when my citizen, when Trin Begonians feel that pain, I feel it, my lady. When you sit down home and think greatest pain, I out on the ground seeing children hungry, cannot go to school. Mothers begging every day for a little money to buy something to eat for their children. Children in Trinidad and Tobago drinking sugar water. When the Miss Trinidad and Tobago said that there's poverty across, across this country, y'all PNM attacked her because y'all don't want to open your eyes. But y'all not on the ground, you're not seeing it, you're not feeling it. So if you see hate or pain in my words, then that's correct. Keith Rowley is a hateful individual. He has the resources to make our country a paradise, but he chooses to do differently. He chooses to procure without procurement. He chooses to meet with Jindal and cut deals. He chooses to deal with Delcy and Maduro and lie about it. He chooses not to care about those most in need. Blood spilling on the streets every day and he does not care. He's done nothing. You may find that's okay. You may find it's good because you have a certain love for PNM over and above your country. Raul is the worst prime minister in history. His abject total disregard for human life and for others is unpalatable to somebody like me. So if you find I sound hateful about Keith Rowley and the policies of the PNM that cause separation, decimation of the economy, and people cannot eat, people cannot go about their business, people are at risk, then so be it. You are correct. Because politics is not a game. You may think it's a game, because that's all you've been trained to do. Think that, oh, everything is okay. PNM is in charge. We could complain. Don't think about anything. Don't read anything. Don't understand anything. Don't know what's the power of a prime minister. Don't believe in what Trinidad and Tobago could be. The paradise that it could be. The safe, pristine, beautiful country that it could be if it were not for Rowley and the PNM. So maybe you will never understand what I am saying. Because maybe when you see videos of young black boys with their brains blown out with their blood flowing into the drains and children just walking and stepping over the blood you may find that's normal or you may convince yourself that these problems cannot be solved that every year children take SEA and 9,000 must fail that every year 900,000 children must drop out of school and hit the streets to work with gangs and to be the next father of a murderer. You may think that's okay. That that cannot be dealt with. That crime exists everywhere. Because that's what PNM told you. While the ministers are recusing themselves 600 times. And billions of dollars cannot be accounted for. So if you find I sound hateful. It's because of my passion for my country. And my disappointment that in all the great people that we have. That somehow some way because of the cult called the PNM the worst of the worst Keith Christopher Rowley has elevated himself 
to the office of Prime Minister, to drive around with special branch throwing you off the road, to be protected and to play golf while people die, while people suffer, while people are hungry, while children have no opportunities, while our Olympic athletes are going the smallest Olympic team in history. You may think these are not important things. Politics is not a game for me. It is life and it is real. My country is bleeding. My beloved country is bawling out. My people are suffering. And it is because of Keith Christopher Rowley. So either you understand that or you don't. So God bless you. And to all those who understand what I'm saying, get ready. We have to do it. We have to change. This is our last chance. This is not right. We must do it together. Get ready to vote. Get ready to riot with your finger. God bless.